so they are finished pouring and they have headed out. Uh, they did do the uh, stamping after it uh, settled for a little bit. So there we go. There's the uh, the pattern and everything in there. They will uh, come back out on I believe they said Monday to take the uh, the forms off. So uh, all these will be taken off, um, and I believe the day after they will uh, go over it with the uh, the staining. And then uh, kind of clean things up a little bit. They'll come back in with a uh, bobcat, get rid of this dirt pile as well as my other dirt pile on the other side of the pool, and uh, and start cleaning things up. Um, I think they're going to use some of the dirt from the other pile since this has tons of rocks and um, concrete and whatnot in there. So all the other dirt will be coming out of uh, this dirt pile. Um, so I might do some cleanup on that because there's actually a, a lot of weeds and stuff on top of it. So I want to kill that out if that's what they're going to put down over here. Uh, just so I don't have uh, new weeds growing uh, come spring. So I'll start digging those up. But uh, it is in. I think it overall looks pretty good. Um, came up a lot higher than I had expected. So if you look at my uh, bump out here. They uh, pretty much ran it almost right up to it. So, any work I need to do underneath that bump out now is not going to happen. Um, which, the way I had uh, kind of fixed all that up, I shouldn't hopefully ever need to um, deal with uh, the whole underneath the house again. So, with the concrete kind of coming pretty close, um, shouldn't be anything really getting underneath there rotting away. So, should be good. Um, they did a number on the uh, on the grass though. So the tracks, they had a uh, bucket come through here, uh, kind of like a dingo or something with caterpillar wheels on it, and um, and a concrete bucket to uh, dump everything. So uh, it definitely uh, rutted things up. Um, the ground's a little soft, so I might be able to kind of squish that back down to get rid of the uh, the little indentations all the way through. Um, so I'll have to do a little bit of work on that and uh, hopefully get all that cleaned up But they're not going to be back out until next week. So there's not a whole lot I can do about uh, the Stuff up through here um, One of the bad things is At least bad for the uh, neighbor my property line ends roughly around here and Because of this ditch all the way through they actually came back in through here and brought it in and that's actually the uh, the neighbor's yard over here and they uh, kind of tore up a lot of the the grass through there oops I didn't say anything to them I didn't know they did it until after they did it so maybe um, when I'm ready to start throwing down the seed I will uh, I'll throw some seed down for them and uh, try to clean that up but since uh, they are coming out coming out next week to uh, stain and clean all this up that means I still can't overseed back here um, maybe tomorrow I can get the patio furniture and a lot of this stuff out of the backyard and I can at least uh, uh, take the glypho to a lot of the other areas and try to um, go ahead and start spraying to uh, prepare and then um, when it's uh, time to put the seat down then um, then I'm already kind of partly set up for it uh, Alright, what's up guys? It is Saturday, uh, September 15th. So, as I was saying, I cannot uh, overseed my backyard and my side yard due to uh, the concrete guys coming back in with a uh, bobcat scooping everything out. Um, they're just going to do more damage, so the point of you know, putting down seed when they're going to be going through with a, a bobcat is kind of a, a moot point. I'd just be throwing my money out. Um, so I am going to hold off on doing anything in the, in the back and side yard. Um, however, I thought about it. I, I can uh, go ahead and aerate, which uh, the backyard, I did a test run Thursday night uh, just to see what kind of plugs I was going to be pulling up since we did get a lot of rain, um, I believe the past weekend where I had about five inches of rain. So I figured that having a, uh, a dry soil wasn't going to be an issue. It's just a matter of how much uh, uh, penetration I was going to get, giggity. Um, so I took my uh, my Agrifab, Agrifab aerator. It's a uh, core aerator I got from I believe I got it from Amazon. Uh, this would be the second year I'd be using it. Um, so I uh, ran that over. I did two 50-pound sandbags put on top and ran through it. And I got about a, a two-inch plug out of it, so it wasn't great. 
Um, so because I tore out my pavers for my grills, I uh, took about, I believe it was about six of them that I threw on top of my, uh, my aerator and then threw the uh, 50 pound sandbags back on. And I was able to get about uh, three to three and a half inch plugs out of it. Um, pulled up nice. I did a, a couple passes in the backyard uh, where I could run anyway, you know, kind of uh, dodging and diving around all the uh, the dirt piles and everything else I have going on back here. Um, but it, it pulled off a, a nice plug. Um, I'll show you a couple of those. All right, so I went out and picked uh, one of them up out of the ground. So here's one of them. Um, that's a good. That's probably a good three and a half inch plug. It's probably one of the longer ones that I've seen. Um, walk out of here so I don't get dirt on the uh, on the new patio. Um, so looking through it, I uh, was going through Thursday night and kind of crumbling them up to see if uh, it was real uh, clay-like or anything to see how the uh, soil was. And it, uh, granted, this one's been sitting out there, so it's dried up a lot. Um, but when I was first going over it, it uh, crumbled up pretty good in my hand, uh, which meant the uh, the clay is uh, broken up pretty good, um, so it didn't stick to my fingers or anything. So I think the uh, the humic acid and everything I've been putting down over this past year has uh, definitely helped with the soil, um, breaking up that clay down, so the uh, the roots can penetrate a little bit deeper down. Um, so uh, I should be good since I'm getting some decent plugs out of the uh, core aerator. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load that up, and I'm going to hit the uh, the front and the side yard since I've already done the back, and um, and we'll get some stuff done. Hopefully the front yard. Um, I can try to get the, uh, the overseed done. Um, one of the, uh, my oldest daughter has a birthday party to go to, so I've got, uh, spawn number two with me today. Um, here in, I believe in a couple hours. So it should give me enough time to, uh, to aerate. Um, I'm gonna have to do the overseeding once, uh, my wife gets back with the other kid. That way I can, um, kind of focus on putting down the, uh, the seed. I'm not trying to chase around my uh, my second kid um, during that birthday party, but um, so I'll, I'll get that loaded up. So one thing I, I was I'm going to bring up is um, so many people will rent a core aerator as opposed to uh, having their own. Um, some people will buy like a spike aerator, which I I don't like because the, uh, the spikes basically just kind of it digs into the ground and it just pushes the ground out instead of taking an actual plug out of the ground to allow that soil to kind of uh, smooth back in and fill in so it'll kind of loosen things up a little bit. Um, the, the core aerators that people rent versus one I buy, uh, some people, it's like you, the ones you rent, you have to push and I've never heard a single person say that it's an easy task. It, uh, it beats the crap out of them. They'll take pictures of themselves, you know, dripping sweat and it's like, oh, this is the worst thing I've ever done. You know, why did I do this? Um, so, uh, thinking about that and, and the price of the core aerator rental is about 80 bucks a day here. Um, so, two years of core aerating, renting, uh, would be about $160. I got my AgriFab 48 inch core aerator for, I think it was like 145 off Amazon. Lowe's carries them as well. They're a few dollars more, plus you have to pay tax. Uh, at the time when I got my uh, core aerator, uh, there was not an Amazon warehouse in Ohio, so I didn't have to pay tax. Um, so I got it for 145 to my door. Um, so it worked out really well. So figure this will be my second year using a core aerator uh, that I own. So I'm actually going to come out ahead um, by about I'm about 10 bucks. Plus, I don't kill myself trying to uh, run the core aerator, um, so I can just sit on my tractor, pull it around, take a drink while I'm core aerating. It's pretty nice. Uh, the only the only downside to pulling one of these core aerators behind your tractor is when you come up to a road and you have to turn. Um, sometimes you have to disengage the uh, the cores on it, pull it up, so you can go back down to the wheels to spin yourself around. Uh, just a a minuscule hassle compared to, you know, not getting the crap beaten out of yourself. So I'm gonna get this thing hooked up and let's go.
so I got things loaded up. Uh, it's about 100, and, I'd say about 150 pounds on there. Um, the 200, uh, 250 pound bags of sand, plus uh, I have six paper stones. They weigh, I don't know, maybe about 70 pounds, um, plus a couple of rocks, because I couldn't get uh, eight paper stones on there because of my uh, release for the, uh, the core aerator itself to go between um, engaging and disengaging the, uh, the, the tines that go down to the ground. So I need to be able to have access to that. So um, I put two rocks in there to still give it a little bit of weight but not get in the way of my uh, engagement um, lever. So uh, I'm going to fire it up and we're going to start core aerating. Alright, so I ran the core aerator around the uh, perimeter, around the road in my driveway. Ran into a uh, issue. If I'm trying to go uphill with this extra weight, I'm actually uh, getting a lot of wheel spin. So it might be uh, complaint number two about uh, having this tow behind aerator as opposed to having a, a motorized push behind. Um, but I'm still going to try to keep going around. Maybe I'll just go around the other way so I'll go downhill with it instead of uphill. Um, so uh, I'll have to keep fighting around with it, but I should be able to get the rest of it done. Alright, so went around the perimeter. Um, had to uh, stop a couple times, pull the uh, uh, wheels back down on the aerator, disengage the tines because I was getting a lot of wheel spin, so I uh, almost had to kind of get a, uh, a head start with the uh, tractor and then drop the, uh, the aerator down to keep going, otherwise I was just spinning the wheels. Um, pulling up some okay cores out of the front. So it's over half the length of my thumb. Um, looking at crumbling it up. Last year it uh, used to be just all clay, so it would just squish on me. So, uh, Looks like the uh, the soil is uh, looking a lot better this time around. A lot of that clay is getting broke down. So, looking good. What am I going to do about all this? I don't want to core aerate where I got uh, fresh seed growing. So I might have to try to uh, skip this area. Grant, I am going to go through with uh, some more seed for another overseed on it try to get things uh, grown in but um I don't know if that's uh, something I want to try to core aerate or not it might be uh might be bad I really might mess things up might uh try to drive around it for now and then maybe I'll hit it up in the spring and core aerate the uh the area over here or something in the spring give it enough time to uh uh establish and uh, grow a little bit deeper
at least some of the cores that I pulled out of the, uh, the side yard. This one was actually kind of, you can see it, some of the roots are together. That was one whole core, so I got a good almost full length core out of that. That's probably about four inch. Some of the other ones that uh, came out of there. So, again. All that's just kind of falling right apart. You might see uh, the roots that were sucking it with it, but. So, now the front and the side yard are core aerated, ready to go. Um, my uh, wife and kids getting ready to head out to the uh, birthday party down the street. So once they get back, then I will uh, get my GCI turf seed and my uh, soil, soil uh, uh, coating on my seed. And then uh, I will start spreading. All right. All right. So kids back from the uh, birthday party and uh, I'm ready to put down some seed. So I've got my GCI turf uh, seed that I got in. It's what I uh, overseed a little bit of my front yard with uh, where I got rid of the crabgrass and some of that grew in. Um, so since I'm not doing the whole yard, I'm not gonna use the whole bag. Um, I'm only doing my front yard, which is uh, the uh, main area is 7,000 square foot. Um, a small section uh, to the side of the house is about a thousand. There is a, a flower bed over there. That's about a thousand. Um, so about 8,000 square foot total. And uh, so if I'm gonna put it down at about uh, two pounds per thousand square foot, that means about 16 pounds of seed that I need. So I will uh, get that weighed out. I've got a uh, digital scale behind me here. Hopefully it'll work okay. It doesn't do um, uh, smaller portions like ounces or anything. <coughs> I might be able to get down to where it'll weigh you know, eight, 10 pounds. I don't know how low the skill goes. We'll see. Um, also got this, uh, the seed coating here. Um, so this is a, a half pound bag for a, uh, a full 50 pounds of seed. Since I'm not putting down the full 50 pounds, I'm only doing 16 pounds. That means I'm going to have to use a little less than half of this bag. Um, again, I won't be able to weigh this out, so I'm just going to have to kind of eyeball it and, uh, do what I can with that. But uh, I will uh, get it mixed up. I'm going to put it in this bucket, try to uh, use a, a stir stick, mix it up, and then I will throw it into my, uh, my spreader. I'll just turn it down uh, pretty low. And um, since I won't know exactly uh, where my two pounds per thousand is on that spreader, I'll just kind of turn it down pretty low and put my 16 pounds in there and just do multiple passes until I get everything uh, pretty well covered over. So I'm going to get to it. to uh, kind of do it the old way, step on it, weigh myself, and then uh, put the seed in the bucket, and then weigh myself with the uh, seed in my hand. Um, so I've got about six and a half pounds right now. So I add a little bit more weight again, and um, I kind of set that to the side, and then get another eight pounds, put that in there, since I won't be able to fit all uh, 16 pounds in here. So we'll keep going. All right, so I've got about eight pounds here. So now, based on my line here, so if I fill my grass seed up to this line right here, give me about eight pounds. So I'll just pour it out to another eight pounds here. That'll get me my, uh, my 16 pounds. Out. That's exactly 16 pounds. All 
All right. So you see in here, that is my 16 pounds of seed. Uh, best way I could probably uh, mix that up with the uh, the seed coating is um, I'm just going to try maybe just put it directly into my uh, spreader here. Use a, a stir stick or something, stir it up, and it should be good. All right, I guess it's pretty well mixed up. So uh, I'm gonna turn my spreader setting down and uh, try to get me some uh, grass put down. Try to get down to even, even, even as I can. And uh, well, get all 16 pounds down, put uh, pretty even. Um, so let's get it put down. All right, so I got all of the uh, grassy put down, all 16 pounds, and the way it worked out when I set my spreader down to two on my Scott's edge guard, um, I did two passes um, perpendicular to each other, uh, and I still had quite a bit left over, so then I turned my spreader setting up to about two and a quarter, and then uh, went over it a little bit more, um, actually two more passes, and that time I actually went uh, kind of more of a, um, uh, angled direction uh, compared to the other ones so um, kind of did a, an X and then like that so uh, all perpendicular to each other um, so ended up being four passes total uh, so I definitely got an, an even spread of grass seed on there so now I'm putting down uh, some water so I guess I'll water for the next uh, couple weeks get some germination going and hopefully we'll uh, see what comes up. Should look pretty good. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.